Hiya, um, I just thought I'd do a very quick chat. Um, I've got a little bit of time by myself in the house um, before my children get delivered back. Just pop back from work um, a little bit early so that I can kind of start making tea and all that sort of stuff. Get the kids fed and that sort of thing. But because it's half term, I just thought I'd just quickly do a little video because I've got lots of thoughts buzzing around in my head um, about where I am now in my next stage I just thought I would <clears throat> kind of consolidate it all so I think where I am right now is I am trying to recapture um, what I want to eat so I still want to eat slim and well, I still want to eat vegan and I still want to eat no sugar but I'm trying to, I think I'd got myself in such a routine, which works perfectly fine, but I think, um, yeah, into such a routine that meant that I was sort of not letting myself choose what I want to eat, which is, just to see if that's the kids coming back, that's all right. Um, so I would, um, yeah, I, was in, uh, I, I enjoy everything I make and I'm enjoying the food that I make, etc, etc. But what I'm missing out on is that bit where you can sort of think, hmm, what do I fancy? And I'm not giving myself that enough. Um, I, I think it's a good idea to stick to my routine, but there was a couple of nights I used to have where I would sort of think, uh, what, what would I like to eat? And so I'd make myself some deck potatoes with things or... And I think I've not really been doing that a lot, which I think has been resulting in, um, I mean, obviously added on to the kind of extra financial pressure that we found ourselves. And it's not that much more financial pressure, but there's a little bit of you that feels, oh, no, I can't have anything sort of thing. But realistically, I can. I've just got to be cleverer with it. Um, but that coupled with the, the fact that I, I sort of, I got myself in quite a routine I think just um, made it more complicated and tricky and obviously we've just had two weeks of half term and so that's always is always going to put a little bit of extra pressure on the system because it can be complicated um, dealing with work and children and um, looking after yourself and being healthy and exercising well and doing all the things that you're supposed to do to kind of keep your mental state right and um, sometimes it can be tricky to do everything right all the time so just um, just focusing on keeping the joy in my life in terms of keeping small joys keeping being aware of um uh, I don't know, uh, things like having a, you know, uh, favourite socks or something, you know what I mean? Like uh, where you have um, a pair of socks that fit nicely and that you want to wear, or perhaps um, having, when you have your toast that is just nicely done, how you want it to be done, drinking um, your drink out of a mug that is nice or um, having a, a hot drink um, uh, you know by yourself <laughs> or uh, all of those tiny little pleasures um, that you can gain I think it's going to I'm going to need to do more of that and I need to put it as a priority for me my other thing that I struggle with is feeling safe um, I, that's something that I struggle with a lot and that it generally doesn't really impact on my life because I have quite tight control over all parts of my life but sometimes um, it doesn't quite work out like that and then I, I feel I feel vulnerable and when I feel vulnerable then um, I try and take control over it instead of kind of just letting it be so um, there's that there's those aspects to take into consideration um obviously one of my big my big issues is that i bolster eat 
Um, but it's it's very odd at the moment, really, because I can't I can't seem to bolster eat any more. I think because I gave up sugar and I went through that process. Even if I do try to bolster eat or binge eat, it just doesn't have any effect on me. I can't. It doesn't do the thing it used to do for me anymore. And I wonder if that's because I hadn't done it for so long. It's just switched that switch off in my head. Caffeine still works for me. I can have some caffeine, and that kind of fills the kind of you know scratches the itch or whatever it is, or or kind of boosts me enough. So I, I've been using caffeine occasionally, but the benefit of caffeine is that it it used to drop off for me. It used to be a situation where I would have caffeine and then it would start the sugar spiral, but it really hasn't anymore. It doesn't. I don't seem to have this need for sugar anymore. I don't know. I don't know whether it's because I've had enough time away from it now that um, it it my brain has found other ways to get joy or other ways to boost my system, and it doesn't seem to do any doesn't seem to do anything for me anymore. I was a big sugar addict and a big um, kind of carbohydrate addict and. Um, like your sort of, you know, white bread type of carbohydrate, like refined carbohydrate pastries and that type of thing. But now it just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm probably like to eat it, but it's not doing the, like, it's not hitting the spot anymore. It's not doing anything for me. Yes, it's interesting. Yes, it's tasty, but it's not, it's just not providing me the boost that it used to do. Um, there was this thing I read in a magazine ages ago about how um, sometimes you get the position where you're carry on, carrying on eating even though it's not giving you what you need in the hope that eventually if you eat enough of it, it will give you what, it need, what you need. And I feel like I'm almost at that bit, but it's just not providing me what I need which is a good transition for me to be in because now my brain at least is thinking well, what else can you do then how else can you deal with it I know exercise has been really good for me um, and obviously since giving up the car uh, that's the other thing I've got to be aware of since giving up the car I'm walking a lot more and I have to also be aware that I'm going to be more hungry um, because you end up just using so much more energy up so I've got to accommodate for that <laughs> I'm pretty aware I might need more snacks than I would normally have. Obviously, we've just done two weeks of half term, so I haven't done enough. Haven't done a, a full. I think I only did a week's worth of um, school time, uh, walking back and forth. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of. It'll be the next patch. Will be the six weeks, um, which will yeah really good a really good gauge, but term time works pretty well. And um, we've been doing the thing whereby we've been taking the kids into work. We made an area upstairs for them to kind of watch TV and stuff. And then we'd have half nine to half one. Um, and then at half one, I'd take them away. I'd feed them their lunch at 12 and I'd have my lunch with them. And then I'd take them away at half past one. And we'd, then we'd go to the library and that sort of thing in the park and then walk home so that we'd only do four hours. And that's been really great for me personally because it's helped me not get groggy because I used to be in the past... Um, just kept really really groggy like a, uh, I just felt like a fog dropped over me if I'd kind of looked after the kids by myself for a couple of days I just I couldn't and then I couldn't get out it's like I couldn't use my brain my brain had just got fogged up and I just couldn't you know so it's really great going to work and then we then we get to go and do some fun things we go to the library or we go to the park and you know it's all quite nice and and it's pleasant and we have chats and you know we know we spend some time together and then because we're walking to work we chat then we walk as we're walking home we can chat you know it's just quite nice I mean that's the benefit of not having a car the fact you can just chat with each other can't you, you know you can do it right next to each other there's a lot of carrying things <laughs> there's lots of carrying bags and uh, if I end up with too much stuff I've still got to carry it um, so that's the challenge but I'm quite used to that it's not a big deal I feel a bit like a bag lady but I don't know, I'm not really fussed about that sort of thing anymore really because um, we're, ga we're gaining so much from not having a car. Um, so I think where I am, I, I also am a bit sad because I haven't really been able to do any videos because it's been so hectic and, 
and there's been so many um I haven't really had sort of regular meals if you know I've been I've, I've kind of been snacking here and there and then a little bit here a little bit there and then at the same time somebody else is with me while I'm eating and I I didn't really want a video or then my son been using my phone to watch some telly just in the meantime while we got something done and I had a quick snack and I just I just kind of lost control not lost control of food but lost control of being able to video at the right time and do that sort of thing so I'm really looking forward to hopefully once the half term is over we'll be sort of back to the routine again which means that I can um uh kind of change see if I keep the back I can hear some noises but I think no I think we're okay. Check the back door. Nope. Came in the back door last time, so I could check to see. No, they were okay. Um, so, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, nope, can't remember. Um, I'm not really going to pause and then rewind and then I could, <laughs> but then we wouldn't go up as a full video. Uh, Yeah, uh, so it would be nice if I could um, do videos um, once we're back to a normal routine because um, it really does help. It helps immensely being able to just video my food each time I eat. It gets me to talk about it. Gets And I'd quite like to, if I can manage, if I can um, do this thing, I'd like to be able to talk about why I'm eating what I'm about to eat in terms of talking about what do I fancy because I really need to push that part of my brain back into action and need to think about what would I like to eat would I like to, like to eat something sweet would I like to eat something savoury am I really hungry am, you know what I mean doing myself a bit of a checklist so I can see whether I why I'm eating what I'm eating um, and, and think about do I want something crunchy? Do I want something smooth? Do I want something, um, you know? I can hear noises, but I think it might be just the people next door. Yeah, I think it's just next door. Um, so, yeah, I'd quite like to incorporate a bit more of that so that I can really start to gauge um, really, yeah, really, really start to implement the bit where I'm thinking about what I'm about to eat instead of quickly shoving something together and just shoving it in. I know I, I know I enjoy certain feeds, and I got to the stage where I kind of had porridge a bit too much. I uh, quite enjoyed, I do enjoy porridge, but I think I've got to vary it up a little bit because otherwise I kind of get fed up, and then I get a bit resentful because I'm like, well, oh, I don't really want porridge, and then you think, well, I've, I've got to have something. So just have your porridge and I end up, and I'm like, well, I don't really want it. So I have to try and, I've got to be cautious. I mean, I'm very lucky. I can't believe how lucky I am that the weight has remained off and I'm not like now 12 stone or something. I've, I, I really has been a really nice, you know, re I'm really grateful that the foundations of Slimming World have meant that I have more or less maintained my weight, which I'm really, really grateful for. And, and that's why Slimming World works, because even if, as long as your meals are on plan, and as long as you're all basing it around free food and speed food, then it, it, it does work very, very, very successfully. So I'm very grateful to that. And I certainly all I, you know, I've been eating more or less all the same types of things. It's just I'm getting a bit bored, I think, now, so... I think I just need to reintroduce a bit of joy and reintroduce making a mental note of the joy, making sure that I am maximising my enjoyment of my food and also being aware of why I'm about to eat what I'm going to eat. Not in terms of sort of um, emotional eating, but more thinking about uh, the the reasons behind my not reasons and um, the um, uh, I suppose the joy reasons behind what I'm about to eat in terms of thinking about what I would actually like to eat more focusing on um, 
why I am choosing what I'm about to eat. Um, so I'd, I'd quite like to do a bit more of that thinking about it properly because so often I just um, I'm on autopilot when I eat and, and if I took a bit more notice about why I'm choosing what I'm eating maybe that would help me a bit be a bit more joyful and a bit more um, considerate not in terms of like um, cause I, I think I think I'm doing pretty well mentally about food but thinking more about uh, yeah trying to, trying to sort of frame it so it's not kind of the, um a sort of negative it's a positive like a um, I don't know. like dead hooks. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple of bits I'm thinking of. Just have to think about more about the joy of my food and the joy in my life. Thinking about my small joys and my small pleasures, and making sure that I um, uh, just next door. Yeah, making sure that I think about properly about implementing some safe some safe time for myself because I think I all too easily um just cope and I don't push for things and I, I don't ask for things and I just if I'm getting stuff I'll enjoy it and if I'm not getting it I don't ask for it and I think that's another push that will help me mentally in in it's like in a big general kind of way um I know lots of it stems from obviously when you have young children that you're always on tender hooks because you sort of think something's going to happen. <laughs> you just you just presume that the world is going to crumble around you at a moment's notice. So they're ten and six now. They're growing up. Um, it's not as bad as it used to be, and I think it's a bit of me that has to start to just let go of stuff and and think about that I am safe. Uh, I can't just say I'm safe. I have to find ways to prove to myself that I'm safe I have to try and, and um, implement some time when I'm just by myself and I am safe away from all kind of um, demands I think uh, I used to do a run on a Thursday evening then we went to the gym we started doing the gym and then I went out for the Thursday uh, instead and then we stopped doing the gym and I've stopped going out at all in the evenings at all and I think I've kind of that I, I need to re-implement that again because my partner used to put the kids to bed on a Thursday and then I went to go out for a run. I think I need to do that again um, because I think that will, that used to give me a really good sense of like, I had some space that was just for me. So I think I'm going to try and do that again. Um, and then on the Monday when I take the kids to school, I'm going to run back and then I'm going to do whatever I want in terms of running space. So that will give me two days of running which will be really nice and freeing because I think I need to implement a bit of um, freedom again because I, I all too easily just clam up and I don't bother <laughs> I, I bother with life but I don't bother trying to give myself freedoms I just think about the things I need to achieve and think about the things I need to get done not I, I'm, I'm not a big I'm not very I'm not a big um, self-carer if you know I mean that's not something I put as a priority um, so I have to be cautious because if I don't put self-care high up in the priority list, I end up being uh, unhappy and then end up being a drag on other people around me because I'm, you know, I'm limited in my capacity. So I have to keep reminding myself that I need to put self-care high up on the list. Um, so I think that's where I am at the moment. And hopefully next week I will start to be able to do um, some more what I eat in a day videos and talk to you more about what I'm eating and why I'm eating it. Um, but I shall end it here. Um, I had a good run. I keep thinking I'm going to be interrupted, but I've had a good run and I shall upload this and I will see you next week. Lots of love to you all. Thanks so much for supporting me through um, all of it. And thanks so much for kind words and kind comments and... Um, it's always tough, isn't it? But I know that we can, as long as we're just careful with ourselves and cautious and gentle and kind to ourselves, and as long as we don't put it, put ourselves under unnecessary pressures, 
we can always find a route out. There's always an escape. There's always somewhere, there's always some little chink in our rut that we sometimes we find ourselves in that we can just come back out again. There's always a way. There's always a path. You're never stuck there forever. You've just got to keep moving on, keep taking the next step, and then eventually you just find your way out. And I think that's where I am now. Just I've I've seen a chink and I can see what my problems are and I just can start to um move myself into a, a a kinder and more um positive period of my of my life okay then i will see you next week lots of love to you all see you later bye